Hello, this is Mark Sayre. I'm teaching Enver 468. And today we're going to go to the class website, click on lecture notes, scroll down and download the uh, version two of the Rarita and zip file. What we will then do is open this file. In the meantime, I'm going to also download the instructions. So if you want to follow along, you can open the instruction file. And what I'm doing now is moving the zip file to my temporary folder on uh, my um, computer. And once it has been moved from one folder to the other, I'm going to move it to my temporary folder. I'm going to open it and I'm going to unzip it to that folder. And what I'm doing is following the instructions for the analysis of phosphorus in the Raritan. You can have uh, summary steps uh, viewed here, or you can go further down to see all the steps. So one that has been downloaded, I'm going to go to that um, folder that I just um, unzipped. And when I get in that folder, I'm going to my project one and open this project. So this is going to open the project in ArcGIS. So we are doing the first step. And then the next step will be to reorganize the map so that we have map one, two, and so forth on the same pane. So as I'm uh, seeing the file that the project that is being uh, open, I am going to move all the maps from one window to the other so I can better see them all on the same window once it's downloaded. So I'm going to close this window, which I do not need at this point. And of the remaining windows, I'm going to move map three to the window on the left. And I'll do the same for map four, map five, layout. And then I'm going to move all the map one next to each other. And I'm going to go to map, which shows Phosphorus, River, and Watershed in New Jersey. And I'm going to start with the Watershed by opening its attribute table and see that they are organized in WMAs, Watershed Monitoring Areas, Watershed Management Area, and focus on the one in the Raritan sewer shed, which are WMA 8, 9, and 10. And I see that when I highlight them, there are the three WMA for the sewer shed I'm interested, the uh, watershed I'm interested in. So therefore I'm going to take this selection and make a layer. And that layer I'm going to call the Raritan watershed. I can then remove the watersheds from the whole state and zoom to the layer showing the Raritan watershed. Next, I'm going to focus on rivers. So I no longer need the table. And focusing on rivers, I'm going to click on rivers, and I'm going to select by location the rivers that are that intersect with the Raritan sewer shed. When I do this, I have selected those river. They are useful to me. So therefore, for this selection, I will also make a layer, which I will rename the Raritan river. I can deselect the rivers across the state, but I would like to better see the direction of the flow. 
So what I'm going to do is go to the symbology. And for the symbology, what I want to do is use a symbology that is based on unique values of the river order. I can see there are different order number. The larger river, order six, are ones that I will show with properties of being blue with a six point. So they show larger. And as you can see, we can see those river better. And now I'm going to do order five, also in blue with a three point. And I'm going to do order four, also in blue with a two point. And I will then finish with doing order three, also in blue with a one point. I can now better see the rivers. And I finally need to select the phosphorus by location again, that is completely within the Raritan watershed. When I apply this, I got a selection of the phosphorus that is within the sewer shed, the uh, Raritan watershed. So I'm going to make a layer that I will call the written phosphorus data. And what I can now see are all of the, I'm going to uh, clear my selection so I can better see all of the data for the written. The three written layers that I've created, I'm going to copy them and I'm going to insert a new map, which I will move after my five. And I'll go to my map. I've copied all those layers and I go to map six and I paste those layers and zoom to the uh, river layer. I can go back to map and remove those new layers and add back the statewide layer of phosphorus river and watershed like they were. So I can end also um, clear the selection, they're cleared. So I can move to my new map showing the Raritan River. But now I would like to insert a shape file for the um, estuary. So I open a catalog pane and to see my folder, I'm going to have to connect to it. So I'm going to connect to this new folder that I just uh, added, my project folder. So I can navigate to it. And when I navigate to it, I'm going to right click on my folder, click on new shape file. And I'm going to create a shape file called the written estuary as a polygon with a coordinate system that is NAD83. Once that is created, I now have a new shape file, but it is empty. So I'm going to click on edit and create a polygon, which I want to be in the Raritan estuary and obtain by clicking on the polygon icon, which allows me to delineate the estuary by clicking along the line and then double clicking on or clicking in finish. Once that is created, I can 
modify it by clicking on the modify icon. I could delete it and start again if I wanted to. When I'm done, I can save. And once I've saved, I can go to my map, zoom to layer, and change the symbology. So to do that, I'm going to clear the selection and click on the estuary and choose a blue color, maybe lighter blue. So I can see this layer that I have added. And when you're done, you can add a layout and then save this project. Thank you very much.